The four years I spent here were an absolute foundation for the rest of my life. I came to Leeds in 1965 and um, what attracted me to Leeds was it was a long way away from Jersey, which was the first thing, but secondly they offered a degree in combined studies. It's a long time ago, but it's a critical part of, I think, why I'm sitting here today and provided that foundation for my future life and my future career. After I graduated, I went to work in the pharmaceutical industry. I spent three years doing research on the biosynthesis of penicillins and spent the following 32 years working for Mars Incorporated at various locations in Europe and in the United States and ended up retiring as co-president of that company in 2004. I'd been retired, I think, about two or three years. I got a letter one day inviting me to come back to Leeds. Seeing what Leeds as a university was doing when we came back for that first visit encouraged us to think a little bit more about how, having really been very fortunate in our lives, we could put something back into those important factors that have contributed to our success. We started off really relatively small, just sponsoring underprivileged kids who otherwise would not have been able to come to university to take advantage of the tremendous education you could get and what that means in later life, which is so important and had been so important to us. We liked what happened with that. We felt very energized by it. And so we decided to increase the level of contributions, ultimately leading up to the endowment of the Cheney Fellowships, bringing people of academic or intellectual renown to Leeds to interact with faculty and students here on an ongoing basis for various periods of time. I think most of our focus is now towards the future and our philanthropic strategy for the rest of our lives, and, you know, whatever that may be. And given the importance of education in the success that we've been lucky enough to have, we decided to leave a legacy to Leeds. At this sort of stage in your life, you start to think about what you do with the wealth that you've managed to, to put aside and where it could actually do the most good and leave something behind after we're gone that we could feel really proud of. And who would you really trust to do that? Certainly one of those is Leeds. And that was a major factor that allowed us to consider making what would be, you know, a reasonably substantial legacy uh, whenever the time comes. We feel very comfortable that they will do the right thing with it. What that will be is up to the university at the time. I just know that they'll put the money to good use. I do enjoy coming back to campus. I like to spend a day here touching bases with you know, some of the things that we've started here, if there's some student scholarships and we can talk to the students, that's nice. Some of the fellows, if they're working here, we talk to them. I like to visit one or two of the places that were familiar to me. You know, the Parkinson and things like that are iconic and will stay with me forever. <laughs>